I remember when I was youth convener at an old sports club, the kids who just came to my club training were okay, but the kids who came to my club training and played in school at the same time uh, appeared to be more athletic. It seemed more natural. It wasn't. It was. It was. They were getting, getting more opportunity to play and have those skills ingrained, becoming more athletic. Yeah. Uh, are you noticing the same sort of thing in rugby? Um, it's quite an interesting one. Not. I wouldn't say in so much in rugby, um, but I'd say in general in all sports, the kids that do the most sports are the, the kids that are more athletic. And there's a funny actually. There was a podcast I was listening to. Um, and one of the guys said, in the NFL uh, draft, over 90% of the players that were actually in the draft were all multi-sport athletes. And it's purely because, obviously, the more sports you play, the more, um, you know, you're getting, what's the word I'm looking for? I've got my words when I try to think in French and English, but you get exposed to, to many different movements, you know? You're playing hockey, you're playing on hard ground, you have to change direction, you have to get low. You know, you're playing rugby, you're playing football, you're badminton, tennis, and they're exposed to different movements that it just... I think it makes them an all-round better athlete. And the funny thing is actually that now that I'm based more in, in the fitness and, and conditioning kind of side, that when I get the athletes coming to the gym and I teach them really basic body weight stuff and balancing, the best athletes, and even when it comes to team sports, the best athletes that I have are gymnasts, you know, because they're always using their body. They're doing a lot of jumps, they're doing a lot of lands, and just physically the best athletes are gymnasts. Um, and for me, if you don't specialise in a sport when you're young, and they're doing a lot of different sports, but they're doing something like gymnastics and something of an invasion game like football or rugby, you know, where they're thinking about strategically what they should do with the ball. I think it's great because they're, they're exposed to two different things and the physical well-being as well as, as well as the actual gameplay, you know, and that's, I think that's what's important. So even when they're young, not as so much saying, right, you need to play more rugby to get better rugby. I'd say you need to play more sport and different sport and enjoy it. If they don't enjoy it, they're not, you know, they're not going to play. But I think that's the most important. The kids that play the most sport and the, the skills that actually uh, provide a lot of different sports, often they're the better athletes. And I think that's what's really... And as I said before, OK, if we want them to be better, or we want them to play rugby, then obviously they have to enjoy rugby more than, than the other sports. Or, um, and that's just something that they're going to choose. There's a reason that they enjoy certain sports. Um, and they have to find that reason that they're going to play the sport. But as I said, I think multi-sports is, is the one that makes a difference as opposed to playing more of the sport, you know. Well, you, you've basically answered my next question of how important do you think multi-sports training for youth team players are? Uh, well, there you go. <laughs> you, you saved me that question. Um, so we'll, we'll skip ahead somewhat into, do you think youth team players, kids, young adults should specialise in the sport and if, and if they should specialise in the sport, when should they specialise in the sport? Yeah, I was going to say, I think kids and stuff, maybe not, but I, I remember watching a documentary about gymnasts and I remember, I think it was at the age of eight, they're actually training over 20 hours a week on just gymnastics, you know. Um, depends what athlete they want. If they say, if they, I don't know if they, even if they do know at that age what kind of sport they want to do or what they want to do um, in terms of sport. So, in terms of specialising, I think it must be at an age where they know what they want to do. And I'd probably say in their teens to say, right, this is what I want to do. I'm going to specialise in sport. Because one, they do eventually need more training in that sport. And if they, if they do need it and they want to do another sport, they're going to be very tired. You know, At that age, they're doing school and things like that. They've got other commitments aside sports. As long as it's not 100% sport and the, the athlete gets sickened of sport because they're doing that, you know, even better but specializing in it uh i really couldn't say what in terms of age but i just think eventually they need to make a choice you know and that comes down to actually the sport the coach and, and what kind of competition is it. if it's going to be a sport where seriously they want to start competing in teams then yeah i think you know when what well, when i was in school when i was 15 played rugby um, and there was still no championship. It wasn't a league. It was still friendly games. It was only once I reached around 16, 17, that's when we entered a league, and that's when it started to become more serious. I remember I did karate all the way up until really then, and then it was saying, right, what are we going to do? Are we going to play rugby or are we going to do karate? And the easy choice was I wanted to play rugby. I played sport. I played football as well before then, and again, 
purely because I was playing rugby all the time um, and football, the football club was at a different place and it was pretty much training was always at the same time. I chose rugby and that was just purely because I wanted to do it. I had the free choice. Um, so, and it was just an easy choice. We just specialised in the sport. I'd say we, we played more rugby and, and, um, and yeah.